Hi, I'm going to teach you how to balance redox reactions when they are in acid, okay? Really important. Specifically, the question will say they are in acid. All right, you have already learned how to balance redox reactions. We're just going to add one thing to it. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to very systematically walk through these steps and then at the end, show you how to finish it off if it's in acid. Notice I have two examples here. One is a full redox reaction and the other one is a half reaction. Sometimes you'll be asked to balance half reactions in acid. So I want to show you both. Okay, uh, we always begin with oxidation numbers. So oxygen is a minus two times four is minus eight, has to equal minus one. That means manganese has to be a plus seven. Monoatomic ion, the charge is the same as the um, oxidation number, so iron's a plus two. Here, manganese plus two, iron a plus three. Okay, we're going to identify what gains or loses electrons. Um, manganese is going from down by seven, okay? We've lost seven electrons to down by two, which means we gained five electrons. If that was a leap for you, I want, to go to, I want you to go to my playlist on redox and um, look at how to determine if uh, atoms gain or lose electrons. Watch that video. Okay, we're going to gain five electrons. Now we have iron. It is down by two, but now it is down by three. So that means we lost one electron. Now naming this. Gain electrons. That's our Leo the Lion says, grr. Gain electrons reduction. So this is reduction. And whatever is reduced is the oxidizing agent. Um, if something's gaining electrons, that means it has to force a different species to lose electrons. Lose electrons. Lose electrons, oxidation. That's the Leo. So this is oxidation. Um, and whatever is oxidized is the reducing agent. It's going to force something else to gain electrons. Okay. Now, I look at my species that are reduced oxidized to see if those atoms are balanced. One manganese, one manganese, one iron, one iron. We're good to go. So we've gotten all the way through number four. Number five, we have to balance the electrons. Um, so we do that using coefficients and we want to have the smallest number possible that the number of electrons gained equals the number of electrons lost. So I have five gained, one lost. Just going to multiply this by five. How we do that again is the coefficient, so five. Now remember, we always write oxidation numbers for one atom. Um, so this Fe2 plus going to Fe3 plus, one iron is going to lose one electron, but I now have five iron atoms. So let's multiply this by five atoms, and we're going to get five electrons lost. Check it out, it's balanced. Five electrons gained, five electrons lost. Now we can balance the atoms. So I look at the atoms, one manganese, one manganese, five iron, five iron, but this is where it gets kind of crazy, oxygen. And there's no oxygen over here. Conservation of matter, that can't happen. You can't start with oxygen and not end with it. There's nothing we could do to destroy it. Well, that's where this word acid comes in. This um, is a redox reaction in acid. So here's what you can do. I put in acid, how you balance. You can add hydrogen ion, that's the acid part. So the proton and water anywhere you need it to make it balanced, okay? So I see four oxygen, I'm like okay, I need to add some water to balance that oxygen. We are going to add four moles of water because look what happens to the oxygen. Four oxygen, yes baby, four oxygen. So now what did we do? We added hydrogen. I've got two times four, eight hydrogen. So I have to add my eight protons, my eight hydrogen ions to the other side. So now all of the atoms are balanced. So here's your huge takeaway. When you're balancing an acid, number one, do a regular redox balancing, okay? Balance electrons, balance atoms. Then you simply add water and hydrogen to make the rest of it work. Add whatever hydrogen water you need to balance the rest of the atoms. Let's go ahead and rewrite this so it's really nice and pretty. Uh, we are going to have eight hydrogen plus one mole of permanganate plus five moles of iron two yields one mole of manganese two plus five moles of iron three plus four moles of water. Woo, nice. And there's your balanced redox reaction in acid. 
Now, let's go to this next example. This is given, or this is if you're given a half reaction and you have to balance it in acid. Remember, a half reaction is just showing one part, either the reduction or the oxidation. It's not the full redox. It's only half of the redox, either oxidation or reduction. Um, so, same thing. We're going to begin with oxidation numbers. We've got a minus two for oxygen. That gives us a minus eight. Hydrogen is a plus one. Gives us a plus two. So, I need carbon total to be a plus six. So I've got two carbons, that means one carbon must be a plus three. Again, we always write oxidation numbers for one atom. Over here, oxygen minus two, minus two times two is minus four, so carbon must be a plus four. So let's see what changes. It's only the carbon. We are going from a plus three to a plus four. So I'm down by three, and now I'm down by four. So what happened? This is going to lose one electron. Lose electrons oxidation, Leo. Um, so this is going to be oxidation. And again, if you're not familiar with the naming, the nomenclature, um, go to my Redox playlist and watch uh, Redox Overview, and it will go over the naming for you. Okay, whatever is oxidized is the reducing agent. Um, now, <laughs> so we write our oxidation number, we identify what is gained or lost, I labeled everything. I need to balance the atoms that gain or lose. Well, we're only looking at one atom since this is a half reaction. At carbon, um, notice two carbons here, only one there. If I begin with two carbons, at minimum, I will end with two carbons. Now, this makes a difference. Remember, oxidation numbers are written for one atom. Well, one carbon loses one electron, but if I have two carbons, Let's multiply this by two atoms. That means that we are going to lose two electrons. We're going to lose two electrons. Um, so I just figured out how many electrons are lost. Um, so oxidation, um, when something's oxidized, we lose electrons. Those electrons always go on the product side. And that makes sense. I start with more electrons on the reactant. A species loses electrons, so you have leftover electrons right here. Um, in the half reaction for oxidation. You can figure that out. You can figure that out. Uh, next, okay, let's balance our atoms. The electrons look good, now we need to balance our atoms. I've got two carbon, two carbon, four oxygen, four oxygen, nice. But check it out, I have hydrogen right here and zero hydrogen over here. So what can I do? This is an acid. I can add water and hydrogen ion anywhere I want. Well, if I have two hydrogen here to balance that, all I have to do is add two hydrogen ions. Two hydrogen, <laughs> oops, let me move. Two hydrogen for you right there. Okay, let's clean this up and rewrite it. We're going to have this, um, this is called oxalic acid. H2C2O4 will yield two CO2 plus um, two H plus. I'll put the, um, the chemical species together plus two electrons. Okay, and that is a balanced half reaction in acid. Nice. Again, big takeaway, do your regular balancing, and then for acid, add hydrogen and water wherever you need it to balance the rest of the atoms. Pretty cool. So proud of you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.